Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I wanted to go through and talk about some products that I'm decluttering from my lip collection. I have quite a few lip products and that does mean that some just get ignored, left behind, and that's kind of going to be the products that I'm decluttering today. Ones that I just don't use enough. They're sitting there collecting dust and need to move on to a better home. Um, and then I also have some products that have kind of just gone bad um, that you can't tell by looking at them that they've gone bad for the most of them. Uh, they just kind of smell a little off and you know it's time for them to, you know, I'm not going to be using them or I can't use them. So those are the products I'm decluttering today. I have done a declutter series in the past. I think I did it over the summer and I'll have that playlist if you're interested linked in the description box down below um and that one I did a little bit differently I like went through and brought you along as I decluttered it but the other day I was going a little stir crazy as I'm sure a lot of you are as well and I just went ahead and pre-selected the products so it's kind of just going to be a mini review series of me talking about products over and why I'm getting rid of them all of all the products that are still available linked in the description box down below any link that has a little asterisk beside it is an affiliate link so if you decide to purchase a product using that link, um, just know that I can make a commission off of your purchase at no extra cost to you. If you don't want to do that, totally fine. Go shop the way that you normally do. It is, it does not bother me whatsoever. And if you have any other collections, collections, if you have any other, you know, makeup categories that you want me to go through my collection and declutter, I'd love to do that for you guys. I have a lot of time in my hands, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. First product I want to declutter is a drugstore liquid lipstick. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Pink Really Hard. Here's what it looks like. I believe this is like four or five dollars at the drugstore in Walmart and Target, but this product I did enjoy while I was in my collection, but this is a very bright shade. It's a very vibrant pink that I probably wore ten or less times at all um and while it was still good i think this has gone bad and when i opened it i wasn't really sure because you know i smelled it it smelled pretty fine but then you know it just was kind of um dry a lot more dry than it initially was it was a initially very dry liquid lipstick the formula was just a little too matte a little too drying on the lips and i am fine with a matte lip with liquid lipstick but if it feels really matte and drying it's hard for me to get along with so this one i am just gonna have to I don't know, do, I hate to say throw away, but truth be told, I don't think I can recycle this or anything, so I am going to just have to get rid of this. The next product is the Butter London Plush Rush Lip Gloss in the shade Fireworks. Here's what it looks like. I believe this was gifted to me by a friend or family member a while back, but I do like it, but it is a very sticky formula, so it was almost pretty uncomfortable, and I felt like I just could not wear this without, you know, my hair getting on my lips or, you know, my lips getting very, like, tacky and they just, like, I don't know, they just did not feel comfortable. So I am going to be passing this along um, to a friend or family member because I do think it still has some life in it. And it was a very pretty shade. It's got, like, a nice satin sheen shimmer to it. It just, it was pretty. Um, but the formula just was not agreeing with me. Here I have another drugstore liquid lipstick that I'm decluttering. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick. Here's what it looks like. I believe mine is in the shade... Is it called Kitten Heels, I think? Yeah, Kitten Heels number 11. Anyway, this product, <laughs> it just is not good. I mean, I don't think it has gone quite bad. It's definitely a little bit older, but I don't think it's gone bad yet. It just was the most patchy liquid lipstick on planet Earth. It was very drying one, but then when you would put it on your lips, it like you could see literal patches. I don't know why it could not apply very smoothly on the lips, but it just could not. Emphasize texture like nothing else. But even then, when you would go to take it off, it just would not come off. Like, it was like a lip stain. I don't know what it was. Maybe I got a dud, but this was terrible. So I am going to be eventually decluttering it, and I wanted to go ahead and mention it in this video. But I am going to be keeping it around so I can mention it in one, like, worst makeup products video that I'm doing in the future. But after that video, this is going just... I, I, I wish I could pass this along to someone. Maybe I even will. But I will warn them about this product because it is not good. Next up, I have a lip gloss that's just gone bad. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Type Fit. I know they don't have this specific shade anymore, but they do still have other shades. So I will have the formula. It's an affiliate link, but I will have this lip gloss formula linked down below. Um, the thing with this, it is a pretty good lip gloss. Like, it's not the best in the world, um, but it wasn't too, too sticky. It felt a little drying, but it did last a pretty long while. So... You know, those are the pros and cons of it. But the main one for me is, it just feel like it went bad really quick. I mean, in less than six months, this product was not usable anymore. It just was gone. Like, the longevity of the product is not there. And the thing with this is, 
you know, even the outer, like, the labeling has just worn right off. And maybe, you know, what more can I expect from, like, a 6 or $7 lip gloss? But, you know, I would like for the packaging to hold up a little bit better, as well as the product. If the product inside doesn't work very well, it's really not necessarily worth the money. Um, just because I couldn't use it for more than six months, which, even for $7, like, why, why purchase it when I could spend maybe, you know, double the price, get a better lip gloss that's gonna, you know, work better, suit my preferences and then last longer i'd rather do that here i have a guess what another drugstore liquid lipstick and this one is also from nyx it is the nyx lip lingerie here's what it looks like and i have mine in the shade lace detail number three this is a very 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 light pink nude and i i'm all for nude lip colors but when they're so light it kind of just washes you out you know makes you kind of look like a corpse because it like blends in with your skin tone if you have fair skin like myself um you know, it was a little drying. It wasn't the best liquid lipstick I've ever tried. But the reason I want to pass along is more so because I don't like the shade. I wonder if I would try out a different shade that was more, you know, my speed. If I would like the formula more just because typically when you have a color that you like, you like the formula a little bit better. Um, that goes with like most things for me like foundations, concealers, blushes. Uh, so maybe I'll try a different shade in the future. But for right now, this one is not for me. The next product is one from CoverGirl. It's the CoverGirl Melting Pout Gel Liquid Lipstick in the shade 125. This product I do like. It is a little bit of a bolder color, and you guys know I don't wear bold lip colors very often. And when I do, I have the products that I prefer. So I tried this out. I liked the formula. It was decent. Pretty good for drugstore as well, but I just don't use it enough. It gets hidden in my collection, and I think someone else could get more use out of it. So I am going to try and pass this one along. Next, I have a very old lip gloss. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in the shade Trailblazer. They definitely do not have these anymore, and you know, I don't even think it's necessarily gone bad, but I know that this has been in my collection for far too long. I'm going to see if anyone wants it, fully disclosing that it is an older product. But the main reason I'm, I'm getting rid of this is because I'm never going to use it. It is a peachy lip gloss, and I really don't wear peach lip glosses very often. But if I do, kind of like the CoverGirl product, I have the shades that I enjoy. I have the products that I enjoy. So I really wouldn't be picking this one up or using it very often. So, you know, I'm going to try and pass it along, see what I can do. But this was not one for me. So the next product is one I really, really enjoy, and I hate to be having to give it up, but it, I just feel like it's run its course in my collection. Um, this is the Clinique Moisturizing Chubby Stick. It's just a moisturizing lip balm, and I have mine in the shade mm, Bountiful Blush. This shade's really pretty. It's totally up my alley. It's that kind of rosy um, mauve shade that you guys know I am a big fan of. I used this for a long time, and I think the reason that it went bad as fast as it did is because I kept, kept it what in the world I kept this product in my car so I feel like you know it you know going through the summer months and you know kind of melting a little bit and then going through the winter months it just it didn't work um but it is a really pretty shade and I can see myself repurchasing one of these uh chubby sticks from Clinique in the future however I have a ton of lip crowns in my collection right now so I really don't see the need but I could see myself repurchasing this one day in the future all right guys that wraps up today's video if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed I'd really appreciate it if you would do so and if you want to be notified for whenever I upload in the future make sure to hit that bell icon down below if you guys like today's video please be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know if I should do more declutter videos in the future like I said earlier I will have that declutter playlist linked down below if you're interested kind of bored want to watch something I know I've been binge watching a ton of my favorite youtubers recently just all of their content so I'll have that down below for you guys if you have any recommendations of sections of my collection that rhymes really weirdly but if you have any recommendations for that um, that you want me to declutter definitely let me know in the comments and anything else you want to tell me I love interacting with you guys um, you can also reach out on you know socials twitter instagram i love talking to you guys and i certainly have a lot of time to do it right now so i hope you guys are doing well i hope you're you know trucking along getting through this and my thoughts are going out to all of you guys and my love and everything and i just hope you know how much i appreciate all of the support on my channel it really means a lot so thank you guys so much for everything i hope you have a great couple of days until my next video goes live and i will see you when it does bye